Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be doing a Texas style brisket with none other than our Killer Hogs Texas brisket rub. My name is RJ and this is Beginners Barbecue Outdoors. All right guys, so I saw this brisket was on sale. It said about 18 pound brisket. Uh-huh, 18 pounds. It's gonna take a long cook. Got it, I figured I'd do it again. This time we'll try Texas style brisket. So of course, once I picked it out, I had the butcher guy do a little trimming on it. Um, so this is what he did. All right, so now that I have the bottom part, let's just go ahead and get into it, right? So we're gonna have a, put a mustard as a binder. And so far, all the videos that I see that people that do Texas style, this is what they do. So. If I do anything wrong, all you people in Texas, my bad, I'm, this is what I saw and I'm going by with it. So a nice binder. And once again, it doesn't give it that mustard taste. So you guys should be good. All right, let's go ahead. Our Texas brisket from Killer Hogs. This should be great. So it's a big piece of pat. You gotta make sure you put a lot of rub on it and just pat it in there, okay? It's a nice pat. Now we're going to turn around, do the same thing on the other side. Add a little bit of mustard all around, all the way to the side. Grab our Texas rub. Just nice and easy. There you go. On the sides, make sure you got all the sides. Give it a nice pat. Make sure you cover all the brisket. All right. That's the easy part. All right. So now what I'm going to do is since I'm going to leave this overnight, okay, it's going to be about eight o'clock right now. It's about almost eight eight something put it in there i'm guessing 10 to 12 hours the first stage so we got to have something reliable that i can count on so i'm going to go with my temp spike that way it can let me know what the outer temp is in the trigger so in case something were to happen this will let me know on my phone that there's something wrong with the trigger either the fire is going down or maybe there's a little fire going on there i need to come out and check so that's why i'm gonna do this because this is the one that i trust for this long cook so let's go ahead and put our temp spike in here then we're gonna put it over here on the thick part of the meat right there should be perfect all right so we're gonna have our trigger grill at 225 degrees we're gonna let it ride for that until we wrap it and then we're gonna go up to 250. For now, it's gonna go to 225 for the whole first stage of 10 to 12 hours. That being said, let's go ahead and fire up our trigger. All right, our trigger's up to temp, 225. Let's add this brisket. Can barely fit in the trigger. All right, we'll be back till tomorrow morning. All right, guys, our temp spike has finally informed us that it's ready. Look at that bark. That looks amazing. Take it out. All right, guys, so it's been 11 and a half hours. I put it at last night at 8.30. Right now it's eight o'clock, so 11 and a half hours. The bark looks amazing. I'm excited for this. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out and we're gonna wrap it in butcher paper. So first things first, we got some water here. We're gonna add, we're gonna spray on the butcher paper. And now we're gonna add this beauty in here. Like that. Now the wrapping process, it has to be nice and tight in there. Nice and tight. Give it a little tug. And there it is. I know you've seen two ways. People use butcher paper and some people use foil. The butcher paper, you're gonna retain that bark. That bark's gonna stay there. Now on the foil, you might lose some of that bark. That's the downside of that. Also, if you wrap it in foil, it's gonna take a lot quicker than butcher paper. Butcher paper takes a long time to get it done. But butcher paper is probably the best way to go. Hold that bark, it's still gonna keep it nice and moist. Uh, so I'd rather go to butcher paper. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot longer to cut, but it's well worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and add our temp spike back in this. There we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put it back in there and we're gonna wait till it hits 200 internal temp. We'll go ahead and put it back on. All right, here we go. be back when it hits 200 internal temp all right we're finally done 
202 internal. And then the way to test it also is it's gonna feel like it's just butter inside there. Look at that. Like there's no resistance. Take it out. All right, so it was in there for four hours. So once I wrapped it and I put it in there, I turned up the, the Traeger 250 degrees um, and then waited till it hit the 202. Now, this part is crucial. This, you have to do this. Now it has to rest for at least a couple hours. So grab a cooler. I have a towel in, in the bottom and I'm gonna put a towel on top. You don't have to have a towel. I just like it. And then I put a towel on top and then put it in there for, I'm gonna leave it for two, maybe three hours, uh, but at least two hours, no less. We'll see you guys in two. All right guys, so it's been a little over two hours and I think we're ready to see how this turned out. I'm ready to see. Let's go ahead and take it out. There it is. It's been there for two hours and it's still hot. So let's go ahead and open it up and see well, how we did. You guys seen all this juice? Oh, look at that. It smells so good. All right, so I know you guys wanted to cut. So before we get to this cut, let's have a quick recap of what we did today. So before we got this, we're gonna use our care package that we got from How to Barbecue Right, Killer Hog, the legend himself, Malcolm Reed. There's gonna be a video of the nice stuff we got. Stay tuned for that one. I'm gonna show you a lot of stuff we got from them. This is one of them, the brisket knife. Perfect time, time to use a brisket. All right, I will have a link to Killer Hog's webpage where you can get the rub, you get this knife, and the next video, you'll see a lot of stuff. But I know you guys wanna see how it looks inside. I do too, so let's give it a cut. Look at that, oh yeah. Look at that nice smoke ring that we got going on. Let's give it a taste. That's it for today's video. Make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe. Make sure you guys check out the links for the Thermapro, links for the rub and the knife. Um, and I will see you guys next time.